Hey everyone, and welcome to today's metal melting video. This is going to be the second melt in using this new crucible. I hope you saw last week's video because that was the first time using this crucible. The crucible I used before that had a big crack right down the side of it and I was not using it anymore. Time to retire it. I'm gonna ram this sand up outside today. And yeah, I'm using this dry sand, very, very dry sand. You could see it here. And this is going to be the lost foam cast that I'm gonna be making. And uh, let me show you how I made it. I've carved out a pattern using my CNC machine. I made the pattern using a program called Inkscape. It's a free program that you can get off of the internet. I then loaded it into my software so the CNC could just do its work and carve it out of the foam. The foam I'm using is Polystyrene XPS. It's foam you can purchase from your local hardware store. I get mine from Home Depot. After it's carved out, I like to put a coating of wall plaster on top of it. And after it's dried a few days, then I can now bury it in sand like I'm doing here. And this is actually called the lost foam casting process. If you're new to my channel, I just want to take a few seconds to tell you and show you a couple other videos I've done in the past that I think you'll enjoy. I do a lot of lost foam casting. When using foam, anything is possible. I actually made a working flail from the Lord of the Rings. I have a playlist that features each one of those videos for making the flail. I made a handle, I made the flail, and I even made a chain with aluminum. So far, I believe that's the coolest thing that I've ever made. And it truly is a piece to show you that you can make almost anything with foam. If you can make it in foam, you can make it into solid metal by doing the lost foam casting process. A lot of the time, like today, I'll make simple ingots because I think they're cool and I could just store them on a shelf for later, even use them as paperweights. I'm not big into the rectangular solid aluminum ingots laying on my shelf because they're ugly. So if somebody picked it up and looked at it, oh boy, I have a rectangular bar. That's cool. But instead, I like to make things like I'm making today. So if you pick it up and you look at it and be like, wow, that's so cool. I want it. Or how much? So you fill this container all the way to the top, just like I'm doing. And once it's filled to the top, then you need to put a pouring cup, which I use a soup can with the top and the bottom open on the top around the foam. That way, when you pour the metal into it, the metal doesn't go all over the place and it flows right down, burns the foam, it vaporizes the foam and just takes its shape. While making this video with my two cameras, I actually was filming this live on TikTok. It was a 20 minute video, so you basically just saw me pouring the aluminum and then you get to see me revealing it afterwards. If you don't follow me on TikTok, make sure you check me out. The link will be in the description below. All right, enough talking and let's just get to the video, melt some metal and enjoy. Oh, and that took forever. Who was actually sticking around and watching me fill that bucket with sand? Because if that was you, you're incredible. You should definitely leave a comment below.
All right, guys, these are the two little smiley face coins I made with the Heinrichs made on the back. I think they came out really good. Um, carved out two of these little things here. This is MDF. I carved them both out with my CNC. And you can see that here. So I just made a sand mold. Um, just like that. Worked out really good. So I think I'm going to make some more of these in the future. And uh, yeah, let's get to cleaning up the the bigger lost foam cast that I made. All right, guys, it's all cleaned up. Check this thing out. This thing's awesome. This thing's heavy. I really like this one. This is really good. Um, I'm making another Thanksgiving uh, lost foam cast. Uh, hopefully by next week, I'll get it done. And like I said before, these are super cool, man. Look at these. Look at these little things. I like them. I like them a lot. Guys, if you like it too, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and uh, hopefully you stick around for next week's video because it's going to be another turkey Thanksgiving-inspired video. All right, see ya.